Just an update on the tempests and how I uh, ended up securing them. But I've done some investigating, and it wasn't actually. Although the brackets I did say were not that substantial, it wasn't the brackets that broke. It was the screws that shattered. And I've done some investigating. Welcome to Pomfret's Pond. Roxy is now seven and a half months old and she's becoming quite a big and powerful dog and when she wants to burn some energy off she'll take off from here sprint right round the outside of the garden across here across the embankment and then a quarter running towards the back of the filter and I've, I'm sure she's done that before. So she'd been running through the back of the filter, back down this embankment, onto the patio, and back round again. And she does a full circuit. So I decided to investigate. I'll just walk up to the back of the embankment and see what I, th I'll tell you what I think. I'll just, uh, have a look at the gap behind the tempest. Now, if Roxy's running at about sprinting, and she's quite a heavy dog now, she's sprinting round the garden through here, and she runs between this gap and hits the tempest. In the first video, if you look at the first video, the screws didn't shear flush with the brackets. They sheared off about a quarter of an inch into the wood. So I'm wondering if she's run through, shattered it, and shattered the screw, and the screws just had enough meat still in the wood to hold on. And then when my wife's come in the garden, a few gusts of wind and some vibrations, and... The screws worked its way to the edge and the tempest fallen off. That's when the wife heard the clatter and came to have a look because, I mean, thanks for your ideas as well regarding uh, securing them more tightly. And But I'm stuck. I can't build a wooden stand around them because I can't get to the tap. It's on a, it's above soil, so I've not got a, a solid base. Um, for now, I've, I've screwed these brackets to and secured the pipes with cable ties so at least that will hold it. If that ever shattered again, the cable tie would hold it top and bottom. Uh, that, that's just a temporary fix. Ah, ah, don't try and squeeze through there, Rox. Come on. If you see what I mean, that's what I think that's what she was doing. There's not enough gap for her full body, the only way her body's going to get through there is, is it, if she hits that and it, it shatters the screws and then as I said it could hang on with enough meat in the screws still in the wood for a time and then it, it will just eventually just fall off that's my theory anyway we better ask Roxy sit high five did you break the filter? Speak. Good girl. Come on. Come on. The second worry I've got is uh, the pond isn't heated and I've heard the uh, Dev and Coy speak about the chill factor in winter. I can't turn that waterfall off. So these uh, backy showers are going to have to be running right through the winter. Um, 
as I said, the pond's not heated, but it's not been heated for nine years. It's the first time I've had a backy shower, though, so whether that'll increase... Roxy! See what I mean? She nearly did it again. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Aren't we, Rox? Um, I don't know if you can see that properly, but I've got the uh, lid of the plastic tub and screwed screwed it to the tree trunk to stop Roxy running through the gap and hitting this tempest so hopefully that will uh, if that's what's caused it it'll stop it happening again the wind chill I mean the, the fish do just sink to the warmest parts of the bottom of the pond uh, luckily we've not had any extremely harsh winters in the last nine years but I remember in 2008 and 9 when it went round in northwest of England it was I don't know what it was like the rest of the country that northwest of England was absolutely bitter frost the pavements were frozen up from October um, right through to the end of February and a lot of people at the time when I was buying some of this original filters for this pond second hand I remember people at the time saying yeah I, I, I dismantled the pond because I lost all my fish in the two severe winters uh, pond froze up no eating in the pond uh, but as I said luckily we've not had uh, winters that severe uh, since I built this but Anybody that's got heated ponds now, or anybody with experience of severe winters and uh, keeping the fish going without any heating in the pond, your thoughts and uh, advice would be much appreciated. Thirdly, I mean, we're into November now, we've not had any frost, and the plants are still doing okay. I don't really want to uh, start... To, pruning them back to to the roots until they start dying off and it's been pretty mild I mean there's two plants there that usually flower in spring and they've had a second burst of energy given it's autumn and, and they're both flowering so your thoughts on that as well when when I've, first season I've had plants in the pond, so what normally happens? This bonsai, we had it inside the house. It was completely buried, it looked like it had died. This spring I brought it out and it's coming back to life, but obviously before the frost I'm going to have to take it back into the house. And I've got a feeling that it needs repotting and that's why it didn't have enough nourishment retained in the uh, soil that was left in this small pot to keep going. So I'm about to repot it. Um, the label that was on it when I bought it said 1989, so it's like 33 years old. Be a shame to lose it. You can see how the roots have grown through the bottom of the pot. So let's get some soil in this new pot and repot it. I couldn't really see, I measured the pots, compared it with this one and uh, online, it, I couldn't really get a, a big enough pot. They weren't much bigger than the one that it's in now. So I went to the range in Preston. It's not really meant for a bonsai. And bought this. And that's plenty big enough to give the the tree the extra soil to maintain its growth. These roots are so compacted into this pot, I cannot even, I've tried, I've just tried to prise it out, it won't even budge. So I'm gonna have to smash the pot to get the tree out. Actually, I've managed it. I got, I, I tilted the tree back, got the hammer and started tapping the edge of the uh, pot and I've managed to get it loose without smashing the pot. Roxy, 
Get off the hammer. Come here. <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> what about your stick? Get your stick. Yo. Stick. Get your stick. Get your stick. Ah, I got it. Clean the pot over. I'm going to have to cut through these roots before I can get the other end out. I'll put some of this this pea gravel in the bottom for drainage. That's the uh, pea gravel in. I'm now going to put a little bit of this topsoil in from under this this uh, lay land eye, and then I'll fill the remainder with the uh, compost and peat that's that's in the uh, display tubs. Soil, compost and peat that's mixed into this display pot. It's the end of the season so the plants will be coming out and then I'll top it up again in the uh, spring with fresh compost. I'm going to tip a couple of inches of the aqua soil in that I had left over from uh, doing the pond baskets, I can't see it doing any harm. That's lifted in fine. Just tidy it up, get rid of some of these bits of weeds and uh, top, the, top it off with a bit more compost. I don't want to cover the roots because they give it character. Oi, Roxy, I can do my own gardening. Because they give it the character. Right, she's all potted and I'll just give her a bit of a water. I don't know if I've done this right, I'm no bonsai expert, but if I've gone wrong, I'm sure Green Machine Sweden will give me some advice where I've gone wrong. Just got finished in time, it's absolutely pouring down. Got time, I had time to uh, finish potting the bonsai and taking Roxy through the woods and then the heavens opened. But, she's now back inside. Hopefully the uh, bigger pot will make all the difference and we can take her back out by the pond and put the tree on the wall come spring so if you're enjoying the videos please like and subscribe your uh, advice and comments are much appreciated and thanks for watching conference pond